Hi, welcome to the episode of Frozen Cross and William. In today's video, we're working again on the Pixel 205 Rally 1.9. In this video, we are going to replace uh, the exhaust header. Exhaust header, yes. Because I'm going to install this baby over here. It's going to look really cool because that one, of course, as you've been showing in previous videos, it's been cracked. So, uh, that thing has to go, and that beautiful thing has to go in. So, let's get started. Okay, well, yeah, this is only the second clip and already had one hell of a vessel. It took me like hours to get like the old Lambda out because when I bought it, it had uh, an old Lambda in there and it was so unbelievably stuck. It took me like, I don't know, two and a half hours to get that thing out. Did not want to go out. I eventually ended up drilling it out. And uh, as you imagine, it did actually go pretty good. But the threads did get a little bit damaged and I don't have a tap for it, so, you know, ugh, so I, it has to be tapped right now, so I can't actually continue today. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I have to get, make some phone calls, probably. And uh, we'll continue after that is fixed. Oh, wow, quite some time has passed after the last clip, because, uh, actually, the hub conversion for the 4625, that happened, uh, that's why this project got postponed, but still, I'm picking it back up because I've actually seen the exhaust on the 205 now, and no, 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 that exhaust has to go. Luckily, I have the old exhaust for my old rally. That one's gonna go on. For some reason, I always kept hold of this thing for who knows why, but it something in my mind probably told me you're gonna get another rally again, and this exhaust sounded cool, and I'm going to reinstall it. But to do that, I need some extra bits. Actually, I need this because this bit over oh this bit over here, which is like uh, a it's actually non-removable, it's more, more like a swivel joint for uh, uh, you know to keep some uh, movement in the exhaust. It's 51 uh, millimeters, and this is as you can see thicker, and that's this. So this is like a uh, a step a bit, I have to grind this bit off and then I have to grind this thing <laughs> off and weld it to to this so it slides over so I'm gonna weld it to here and this bit is gonna slide over here confusing? maybe but it's going to work so I'm gonna cut this, cut this stuff up and weld it enjoy and after that, of course, the car is going to get brung in. All that stuff is going to get ripped up because, oh my god, getting the exhaust manifold out is going to be one hell of a feat. Because I have one of these engines over here. This is a 1.6, actually. A uh, non-GTI 1.6. And my god, getting the, those things off is just a nightmare. The way they are designed, pff, stupid, but that's what you got to do. Oh yeah, uh, the thread got fixed. I drilled it out, like I said. And I got a tap, tapped it out, it's all completely fine. I don't know if you can see it, probably not, but it's all good. So, let's go grinding and welding. I ended up uh, something like this. These two bits go together, and then I'll just uh, weld it in. And then I have uh, this bit 
it will be the slide over bit, like I tried to explain. And this thing will be welded to the exhaust. Simple, right? Let's go weld it. So with that thing welded, check it out what we got. This is uh, my homemade adapter. This is uh, the bit where the manifold goes, or the header actually. And this bit will get welded to the existing exhaust. Easy peasy and uh, just easy. And hopefully quick, but probably getting the old manifold, nay. Well, getting the old manifold off is probably going to be pain in the ass. So hopefully I can do that with Rudy, but for now, this is ready, and hopefully in the next clip, we're tearing the car apart, hopefully. So yeah, as you can see, the car is in at the moment, so now let's take that exhaust off. So at this point I'm going to uh, switch to, uh, to voiceover, because the recordings didn't turn out so well. There was a couple of clips missing, and uh, yeah, as you see now, I just removed the, the O2 sensor and now I'm actually showing you uh, these bolts, they're like hideous, they're like 10 millimeters all rusted round and just not very well done and these two are actually not too bad, uh, you can get those, these things are on to-do list and uh, yeah, now taking off the exhaust. Jesus, what the... Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now that thing. So, after all that work, the um, battery went dead, as I probably told you in the voiceover. I'm doing this on the other day, but here it is. And look how good it looks. This exhaust just looks better before I even started. So, uh, yeah, stoked on that. Let's, let's hear how it sounds. Oh yeah, doesn't that sound great? I think so at least. So uh, yeah. And that's the end of the video. And uh, yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, want to see more. And uh, hopefully see you in the next one. And in the next video we'll see why I'm here actually again. So, see you then. So, thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And talk to you about more. You can click on one of these two videos to see, uh, see, to see some more from the channel. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you next time. Later.